Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we look at the voting plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows your users on your server to vote for various things such as time and weather changes and then you can create custom events as well for them to vote on and they can either use the signs, a GUI or command it's very straightforward and highly customizable, so let's jump into it. So if we do forward slash voting, that will bring up the main GUI, which shows you all the options. So you can vote for day for time, night time, sunny weather, rainy weather, and stormy weather. Looks very nice. I've added this one here, it looks pretty ugly. But if I were to click daytime, I can start this round, hit yes, and it is going to obviously succeed because I'm the only player in the world. It's going to play a nice little animation for a few seconds where it transitions to the beginning of daytime, so that's why it goes night briefly. And then you saw on the signs that everything else was unavailable for 10 seconds. Now you can add monetary costs to starting and voting as well, which is pretty handy. And then this one over here, if I were to do this, um, will say you're not allowed to start the next round until this date and time. And you can change that in the config file. Now if you do forward slash vote admin, and then help, that's going to show us the admin commands. And what we can do is the reload command, and that will allow us to do this vote. And all that did is send a hello, this is a test message from the server. And that is the custom one that I made. Not very clever, but it's what you can do with the plugin. So here we are on the SMP control panel, and there's quite a few YML files. Now we're going to start in the voting unit. So this is where we have all the different types of votes that we can have. So you've got day, night, sun, etc. And you can see the results of some of these. So uh, that sets the time result. It sets the weather result. And you can set rain and lightning to true if you want. You can see there are other customization features such as the price to start and actually vote. The restriction for a certain world. And if we scroll down a bit, we will see the one that I did, which actually costs 10 to start, 5 to vote. And then the result is just this custom command. So this is what I did. I took this event one, copied and pasted it, and that is how I got a brand new one. So let's go ahead and create another one. So I've just created a very simple one here, and this will allow, hopefully, the server to restart. Um, obviously, you probably want to do more interesting ones than that. If we scroll up a bit, we have a kick one. So what you can do is actually get a target. So this parameter is a player and it will grab them and it will allow you to kick the player. So if we save that, remembering the name, what we can do is go into the GUI and then in here, scroll down, you can see that here are all the votes and the slots. Simply copy and paste one of these and then we are going to put reload in here and it's going to be a diamond and then make sure you change the slots. This is gonna be slot three, which is open. And then you can see the voting items button, disagree and agree and various other stuff in the GUI. I wouldn't change this, it looks pretty nice. Then we have the signs, so I'll show you how to create these in a second, but this is gonna show you all the locations of them. Then we have the options, so this is the biggest one. You can see that we have the aliases for the voting command economy so this is important this is set to false by default and the type is none depending on the economy type there are three options so hopping over to the wiki real quick you can see that by enabling the economy you have three choices so vault so that's normal money player points and experience and there's tons of other good stuff in here as well then you have the round duration and if you scroll down there's a few other things and then we have min players obviously i set that to one because this is the only way i can test it time change animation so that was pretty cool it was speed 100 and it's active so going back into the game if we do four slash vote admin and then reload that's going to reload everything we can create a sign so do asterisk asterisk voting and then two more asterisks and then on the second line the vote type so reload in this case and then hopefully we've done it right we can hit confirm and there we go it has indeed restarted the server it cost me one dollar to do and then two dollars to vote so that is how you would use and set up the plugin it's really good as you can see you can create something cool like this a voting station that people can go to and then if you do have a vote with multiple people going on uh, you will have a boss bar that looks just like this but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time mm -hmm.